Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since my last video, but uh, I have a very exciting video for you guys today. As the title says, today I'm doing a quick comparison of the small classic flap to the medium sized classic flap. And also I'll include a little bit about comparing to a mini rectangular uh, mini CF. So that way you guys have um, extra information to consider. I know picking between the medium size versus the small size is a big question. A lot of people ask them when they're picking their classic flap, especially now that they're at such a higher price point, you want to make sure that you're making the right decision for yourself. So I hope this video could be helpful for those of you who are uh, picking your first classic flap piece. So if you follow my channel well enough, you probably know this is the medium size is what I chose many years ago. I purchased this classic flap in 2018 and it's a caviar leather classic flap double uh double flap uh in the black color obviously and uh in the platinum uh silver hardware so it's um in pristine condition even though it's been i guess five six years now i've used um not regularly i wouldn't say this is my everyday bag but i definitely have used um throughout the years and I think it's basically a new condition bag. There's nowhere to be uh, seen or to be mentioned. Uh, the bag is still in quite kind of stiff um, structures. Um, even the leather leather still feels quite, um, quite sturdy and feels kind of new. I will say definitely it's like an excellent like new condition. Um, the caviar um, leather is very carefree. I've never had any issue with it. I don't baby it. I lay on like put it on tables I kind of just leave it around never had any problem with the caviar leather And that's one of the reason why caviar is so thought after because they are indestructible um, You know, they they are very easy to care for very um, and and just long-lasting like um, Doesn't doesn't really result in a lot of wears over time now this um, small size that I recently um, come across is not really for me, but I do have it with me in my possession for comparison today, which I'm very happy about. And it's in the gold hardware for this one. It's in the vin vintage um, gold plated hardware, as you can see, it has a gold hardware stamp. And it's also in the cabinet leather. It has edge stitching, which is uh, one of the difference. Oh, actually, no, mine has edge stitching as well, <laughs> but some of the plastic flap does not have this edge stitching here, which would look more like the uh, minis, but uh, this one does. It's also a double flap, so it holds the shape really well, like if you look from the side. It's really a replica of exact same thing to the medium size, except it's a tiny bit smaller. So this is the front view, side view. And this is how they look like in the back. I'll do some mock shots as well so you guys can see again. This is the front. I hope it's straight so you guys can have a more realistic comparison. This is the back. So um, an easy way to identify from a picture whether it is um, small or medium flap is to count the quilts on the bag itself. So if you go from the first quilt, full, full quilt, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, uh, seven quilts from this uh, side, whereas if you count the medium, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight quilts. There is, you're supposed to have the quilt middle quilts aligned uh, to the logo itself, which is also the case here. It's just the way it's laid out. Very beautiful design. The vintage ones, you can definitely see the stitching is very well done um overall condition and the overall um look it's very still caviar in a way is actually not as vintage as lambskin so i would say most of the caviar flap that you find it's definitely uh, more in the 2000 i think they only launch the caviars in about 2000 and later so it's not a super vintage i would say so generally speaking the quality shouldn't be as old as some of the bag from the 70s or the 80s but um you know it is definitely you can still see um start some peelings on the on the gold chain 
um, it's not as saturated anymore, but the logo itself is still very nice. The logo would appear a little bit larger as a ratio to the small bag just because the size of the logo is the same, but the bag itself is slightly smaller. Okay, so time for some mock shots, which I think is mostly what you guys are here for. Again, as another rule of thumb, when you're adjusting the chain, always open up the flap so it doesn't cause uh, unnecessary kind of pressure on the bag. And um, always leave the chain in the front to be tucked away and pull up the back chain. It sits better on your body that way and also it gives a little extra kind of design at the front. I am 120 pound, um, 115 pound, and 160 uh, centimeter tall, so 5'3". And as you can see, the small size sits really comfortably on my body as a crossbody bag, and I think that's one of the key reasons why a lot of people pick uh, the small classic flap instead of the medium, because they would like the option to wear crossbody. But the truth is, if you wear your medium as a crossbody, it's not that much different um, than the small in terms of how high it'll sit. So you guys can see Ta a tiny bit higher. The only difference is because the size of the medium is bigger, it will feel a little bit more bulkier to be sitting at the waistline, whereas a smaller bag just sits, a, it just seems a bit more natural as a crossbody bag. So here you go, side by side as crossbody. And I definitely have wear my medium as crossbody, especially in the summer or in the spring where I'm wearing like light sweater like this. Um, it's a bit harder obviously with a winter jacket, but overall it's it's been no issue for me. And in the winter or when I'm wearing thicker clothes, it usually gets carried like this or on the shoulder like that and same thing on this side so if you want to adjust the chain to be a shoulder bag it i think the length works quite well as a shoulder bag as well personally i do think the double flap for the small size is a little bit well first of all it's quite pricey the price difference between the two is only about $500 to $1,000 depending on where you are in the world. So it's not a huge difference in terms of price, but the medium does hold quite a bit more in comparison. Um, the small capacity wise is probably the same as your um, small rectangular flap. This one here, I'll do a comparison as well. Uh, the minis are definitely crossbody bags. So it, it comes with a very long chain. Uh, the key difference is it doesn't have the four crewmates on the top, so it only has two, and it's a single flap. So because the fact that it's a single flap, and you can again count the clothes, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so this one has um, seven, the medium has eight, and this one has six. And the interior is quite spacious because the fact it's a single flap. And this one is really in beautiful condition, has like, again, no wear to it, no floss dimension. Uh, with the double flap, as you can see here, you have a lot more limitations to how much it could carry. So this is what it, what it is. Uh, actually, I'm curious to see, I don't think there is any room in here because like I said, my, yeah, I just go up an inch. Yeah. So like... It's all leather though, but there's no place to put anything for the top top flap here. You do have space in here that you can hide things. You have space here and then uh, that's it. So the interior, it's this one. Some of them are burgundy line and some of them are black line. And again, that's just depending on which uh, when you make your purchase. And then yeah, there you have it. Um, I guess as a final kind of conclusion, which one I would personally recommend. I personally still like my larger medium size, the classic size to the medium flap. I think it is more uh, worthwhile for the, about the same amount of price, but you guys know the small bag trend is going strong. So a lot of people, I would think the, the small size is actually more thought after in stores. Um, so uh, one advice I would give you is don't ever think you could buy a seasonal bag or a mini size bag to replace your 
urge or your desire to own a classic flag because the urge of owning classic flag will not go away. Um, I've had a lot of people who have those kind of buy remorse. They will buy seasonal bag or bags that look very similar to a classic flap, but still end up spending the money to invest in a real classic double flap. So just if that's really the bag you want, just go ahead and uh, bite the bullet and do it. There are lots of other options that you could consider on the secondhand market, especially if you are open to lambskin. There are actually quite, um, quite a number of affordable um, options that you can have. Um, and obviously, if you're open to something that's not black, not gold hardware, there are other options um, out there as well that's a lot more uh, affordable. But all that to say is, I think if you're a true bag lover, you probably need one of these in your collection, one or the other. I don't think you necessarily have two, although lots of people have a number of different classic flaps in their collection. Um, like I said, over the years, I've used this, even though it's not a you know, regular use for myself, I, I definitely don't see myself letting go of this bag just for the reason that I will likely end up repurchasing anyways. And this is one of my kind of first big purchase from Chanel, so it does have a lot of meaning to myself. But I just would like to show you guys a quick comparison today. If you're making this decision, I think, you know, go by your, your daily needs for how much stuff you want to uh, bring with you and of course how it looks as... Um, on your body as a crossbody bag. So hopefully this was somewhat helpful and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.